Hi, I'm Raj Kumar. I'm the director of software engineering from LSS Electronics. Today I'm going to talk about QuickConnect Studio. It's our online cloud-based embedded system design platform where users can graphically design their solutions by dragging and dropping the Renaissance devices and partner products into the, into the cloud to design their use case. So it's drag and drop? Yes, drag and drop. Like so, WYSIWYG? WYSIWYG. Uh, and so what I'm going to show you is today we are going to uh, create a, a assert monitoring uh, the, the solutions where I'm going to use a MCU kit, a, a temperature and humidity sensors and a BLE module. I'm going to demonstrate how I can put together these solutions within a minute by dragging and dropping. So this year we are launching uh, two new features, uh, remote debugging, where I can not only create the solution, but also can real-time debug it by connecting to a remote form. It significantly reduces the design complexity and time to market for our customers. I'll show you how the demo works. So on the editor, so if you go to renaissance.com slash PC Studio, you can launch your unique workspace and you will land here. On the right side, you will see the list of devices we currently support. For our demo, today's demo, I'm going to pick RA0E1, which is launched today. It's our low power MCU kit. And this is the virtual representation of the actual kit, what you see here. And I'm going to create this demo here. So I'm going to first add a uh, temperature and humidity sensor. And I'm creating, a, I'm dropping the BLE module and designing the solution. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is when I click the bill, the platform, what it will do is it will generate you all the base software needed for this application, which includes the drivers, stacks, and the reference application. If you are a customer, you can start with the reference application and customize it real time on the, on the cloud in the browser window, and you can also debug your solutions by connecting to a remote forms. So now you see that the project is already generated within a few minutes, right? And you can see the, all the software which got generated for this application on the right side, okay? So now we have a working solutions. Now I'm going to show you how I can remotely connect to our board forms and debug this application. So what I'm doing now is I'm connecting to a remote form. The, on the bottom, you see our in, a network gateway and our actual MCU kit. These are connected to a remote form. And uh, from the browser, I'm able to connect to this form, download the image I generated, the binary I generated. And now I see I'm, the execution is in the main file. So on the left side, you can see it. All, you, can, you can find all the, the feature set of a regular IDE. You can see the call stack. You can see the registers, variables. These are all live live view. So I can do a single step debugging, step over, like a similar ID, any ID you can do. So now I can run the demo and I can see, I can pull out the mobile phone and this is our Renaissance Quick Connect mobile sandbox. Now you can see the devices are shown here. I can connect to the device and, uh, and you can see that I'm, I'm able to toggle the LEDs. And also I'm able to read the sensors. So if I put my finger on that, you can see that the values are changing. So now within a matter of few minutes, I'm able to create a, a full working solution from concept all the way to a full working solution using QuickConnect Studio. To learn more about and uh, QuickConnect Studio, visit renaissance.com slash QuickConnect Studio. Thank you for visiting us today. So for many, uh, many years I've been wanting to, um, because I wish I knew how to code software deep inside the software, but I'm always looking for these WYSIWYG solutions. The question is how advanced of a, an idea can you realize with this? Is there no limit or there's a limit so, or, and so then you need to, what do you need to do? So with, in the current AI world, the possibility is in, uh, infinite. So what we are starting to show, show you is all IoT applications but it's not limited to IoT. So we are showing IoT, but in the future we'll have Linux environments added to our system. We'll have AI applications, so smart, smart AI features will be added. So you can, the, the platform will assist you in your complete system design by mix and matching the hardware and software. So I, I could, like, you could, could you integrate customize AI systems? So yes. it really knows how to optimize things for your platform? Yes, yes. So that is all coming up in the near, near future. So where the platform will be smart enough to tell you the combinations of hardware you're picking, is it perfect, uh, both on the hardware side as well as the generated software. 
So for example, I could say I want a sensor that can detect my swimming pool yes. temperature when the dog jumps in so or whatever. You can, you can talk to the platform basically and the platform gives you an idea, right? Or depending upon the choice you make, it can give you suggestions uh, what the hardware can offer both on the electrical point of view, right? So yes, those are all, that's all. In, the, in the AI field era, everything is possible. Is there a way to connect to like a community of experts who uh, maybe there's a certain specific price to have them help you finish your product. Yeah, so and what then, we're doing is we are starting, uh, initially we started with Renaissance product and now we are enabling partner support. So these are our early partners who are part of this ecosystem, Aducam, TDK and Ashram. So we are constantly working with our partners where we don't have the technology from Renaissance. We are complementing the uh, partner technology and we are expanding that to broader market. So like if you are a partner uh, who has a product and want to be part of uh, where can I should you? Uh, we have lay out the guidelines for you, so you can follow the guidelines, create a package, and drop it in the GitHub, and the platform will validate your package and automatically fills you in. So you can bring your, your partner products within a minute. But what I'm suggesting is kind of like a outsourcing to some uh, software engineers who might be anywhere in the world who can yeah, so help they can you also community contribution. finishing the optimizing what it spit out automatically, because maybe it's not exactly what you want, right? So no. then you have some help to finish. Yes. So this is completely on the GitHub. So any open source com contribution is always welcome. So we are right now, we are going with preferred partners, but we are going to expand that to the entire community. So they definitely, it has to be developed by ecosystem. And how's the price? How does it work to work with this? So we are working on the business model. So there are, for every user, there will be a base one, which is free, and they should be able to use the platform for their minimal uh, design. But for extended features, right, uh, based on complexity of the application, we'll have different tiers. So the plan, so visit renaissance.com QC Studio. Soon we will be launching our business model, how we are going to uh, work with Because Renaissance it. sells the chips, right? So, so that could be the business model. You just provide the free platform and then people buy a bunch of chips. So again, uh, for smart applications, small applications, it makes sense. For complex applications, like if you're bringing a complete uh, R car SOC, right, or a Linux system, the infrastructure requirement is completely different. So there is a business model we need to be aligned with, right? So we are working on a model so that, you go to renaissance.com, you will find the data very soon. How successful is the quick connect over the last year? We have seen a lot of interest from both on the customer side, the distributors, the partners. They see the value proposition it brings in, and not only for them, but also to the end customers, right? So it speeds up their, uh, uh, it significantly reduces the design complexity and speeds up the time to market. So there is a lot of interest. So our Renaissance is committed to ex expand this product to include all the Renaissance portfolios, entire Renaissance portfolios. Hi, today we are launching this Quick Connect a Beginner Kit as part of a Quick Connect Studio platform. So it has an MCU board, it has a bunch of sensors. Uh, right. um, you can do an unboxing to show? Yeah, sure. So you can see that it has a bunch of Quick Connect IoT, so we have the uh, BLE and wireless modules, we have temperature and humidity sensors, we have uh, indoor air quality sensors, we have PMOTs for microphones, and we have the base MCU kit at the bottom. So you have here you have the quick start guide, how to use this platform, and you, here is your base MCU kit. So it's targeted. Yeah. Targeted? It's targeted for smart applications and uh, AI applications. What's the chip on here? RA6E2. So it's, um, um, what is the performance on that? It's an ARM? Yeah, it's an ARM core. Right. It's an M23 ARM core. So you, uh, it, all the, we can design any number of use cases using, you can design smart applications, IoT applications, AI applications using our reality AI tools. Right, we have microcontroller. So how quickly would it be to connect? How, so, how long does it take to get it set up does it work on uh, on the Windows on yeah, Mac? Yeah, it, it works on Windows and Mac, so it will be soon integrated into the Quick Connect Studio. Is it browser based? It's also so once it is being part of the Quick Connect Studio, it's going to be browser based. You can use our platform to design your application using this platform. Uh, works platform. on Linux. Uh, so this is a browser based, so you can launch. Doesn't matter where. Doesn't matter. You can oh, yeah? you can as long as you have any browser and internet connection, you should be able to. Work. 
and it can be connected anywhere, any any time. So it's it's globally deployed. Uh, meaning, uh, depending upon where you are coming in from, you will be connected local to your data center. For example, here we are connected to Frankfurt, so it gives you a better user experience and faster latencies. All right. And you can even develop stuff without having the hardware. Yes, you can always start even without hardware. This is all complete virtual kit. It's all complete on the cloud. How much does it cost, this kit? So right, uh, we are targeting $50. So we are going to uh, bring the cost down in the future, but the starting is $50.